In this video, I will explain you PN junction diode. Okay. Now, a PN junction diode is formed when we are connecting a P-type semiconductor with N-type semiconductor. Okay. Now, when we are connecting in this way, we know that P-type semiconductor is having more number of holes as compared to the number of free electron. That is the reason it is P-type semiconductor. Or I can say that here majority charge carriers are holes and minority charge carriers are electron. Now in the case of N-type semiconductor, here we have more number of free electrons as compared to number of holes. Or I can say that number of majority carriers in this case is electrons and minority carriers are holes. Okay, but when we are connecting in this way, what will happen? See, these are holes, positive charge. These are electron, negative charge. So, they will attract in between. Okay, and they will come to the junction, then recombine. Okay, diffusion will happen. Hole will come to the junction and electron will come to the junction due to the attraction between electron hole pairs. See, hole will come to the junction, electron will come to the junction and they will combine at the junction. So, what will happen? See, why this process is happening? Due to the attraction in between electron and holes from P and N. Okay. So, this electron will go and combine with the, this hole will go and combine with the electron here and making on combination there will be holes, neither holes nor electron present. Holes and electron will combine and they will diffuse. Holes and electron will combine and they will diffuse. So, this was the junction before. On recombination, what has happened? This lost holes and this lost, lost electrons. See, what was the net charge of the p-type semiconductor initially? Neutral. But as it lost holes, the net charge here become negative and net charge here become positive. So, I am going to draw a new line here and new line here. Why I have drawn these two lines? Because I know that in between these two lines, there are no charge carriers. What happened to charge carriers? The charge carriers from here, that is electrons and charge carriers from here, that is holes, they came to the junction and recombined or diffused. And making the net charge at this space depleted. Depletion means what? There are no charge carriers. So, these are called as depletion region depletion region so in depletion region yeah depletion region what has happened electron and hole pairs recombined at the junction due to the force of attraction in between them so here it has lost holes so it is negative charge here it is positive charge now the electric field it will create a potential layer in this direction now the electric field would be in this direction. So previously holes was able to come to this junction and combine with electron. Now say for example, now this holes has affinity towards the electron. Let us say the hole is coming towards the junction but the moment that reaches here it will, it will, be, it will be pushed by this positive charge. Because this positive charge is very close to the junction. Okay. Why, why, what is the reason for this positive charge? From here electrons are gone. This lost electron leaving a positive charge here. These are immobile. These are not able to move. This represents that loss of electron from this place created a positive charge. Previously there were elect electrons, right? Here and holes here. Now, as it lost holes, it got negative charge. As it lost electron, it got positive charge. Now, holes cannot move here because the moment holes come here, say holes come here, it will have a repulsion offered by these positive charges. Or I can say that this is a barrier now. This holes cannot jump, cannot cross this barrier to 
further combined with electrons from n-type semiconductor. So the whole process is stopped now. So the moment you create a p-n junction, the process of diffusion will happen. Okay, combination will happen or combination or recombination electron and hole will diffuse and there won't be electron or hole that could be lost on you know on electron taking the seat of hole now it's a normal board see what is holes see in a silicon atom see these are holes now the moment one electron came come and take this position what will happen now there is no charge carriers the uh, all the electrons are busy in bond formation okay so there are no charge carriers so these regions are not present with charge carriers these are depletion region and depletion depleted region and depletion region will create a barrier potential what does this barrier potential will do that will stop the diffusion to happen to further takes place okay Think once again I would revise see from here holes have moved and from here electrons have moved making the depletion region when this from n type electrons are lost it become positively charged and this become negatively charged because this lost holes now this positive charges will further stop the holes to come to this junction because these are positive charge these are positive charge so it cannot cross the Barrier potential, but this can be done with the help of a power source. Now it it is not possible. Okay, so this is p-n junction diode. Okay, so in p-n junction diode, you should be very familiar with what is depletion and what is barrier potential and these kind of things. Okay, now in the coming video. I will explain you about forward and reverse bias. So till here you should be, till you watch that video, you should be clear with all the concept whatever we have learned so far. Okay, in a p-n junction diode, see the moment a p-n junction is made, the process of combination of holes with electron will take place and making a depletion region and this depletion region will stop the further diffusion to take place because that has created a barrier potential and which was initially holes was moving towards here or I can say the electric field was in this direction because this was holes and this was electron so positive to negative it would be but now it has created a potential in opposite direction and the whole process of diffusion will happen till this external field is equal to the field created by barrier potential after that no more diffusion or combination, recombination takes place. Okay, thank you.